How much does a wedding ring have to cost? Baby, it could be $50. It really doesn't matter. I just want to be in love. I want to be genuine. I want a happy, healthy marriage. So the ring, I mean, what, the cost of the ring, it really doesn't mean anything because it's not like I'm going to go sell it. If I'm not mistaken, they say that a ring should cost about two months worth of your actual salary. What if you can't afford it at the moment? Hey, what's up, everybody? In this video, I want to talk to y'all about why it's important to only go out with women that really want to be around you. The main reason I say this is because I've noticed a difference last year when I was dating you know throughout the summer and you know towards the end of the year and everything and what i noticed is that the women that really like me actually wanted it to be around me and they didn't care about you know spending money or how much money i had and things like that the ones that really were trying to you know get over it i noticed them real quick and those type of women only want to go out when you want to spend money on them and those type of women you got to avoid so if you really want to be happy with a woman, make sure that you spend time with the ones that make it real simple and only want to cherish the, the moments and the good times that y'all have together versus wasting your time with women that just want to waste time. So before I continue this video, make sure I hit that subscribe button. If I like you anywhere you take me, that's a date. I don't get no food. We can go for a walk in the park. You know, give me a little ice cream. Yeah, tell me what you got going on. No, I ain't too hard to please. For me personally, a woman like this, I would go out on the second day with her because I feel like I could slowly reveal who I truly am without getting myself manipulated or used by a woman. What's your age? 24, 22. If I was your man, what would I need to pay for for you? Pay for? Nothing. Nothing. So you're not expecting me to pay for dates if we went out? Expect? I don't have expectations for I anybody. also don't have expectations. I do think it shows character. Actions? Man. Yeah, definitely. It's not about the money. It's just about, like, how you treat us. So I could be your boyfriend and not be able to afford taking you out on dates, and you'd still stick it with me through thick and thin. If you're a good person, that's all that matters. It's the chemistry's there. There's some people with loads of money, and they treat their girlfriends like shit, so... Does that mean I don't have to pay for your hair or your nails either? I've, I've never had somebody pay for my hair now. Me neither. So for a first date, if I said, let's just go for a walk in the park, you'd be fine with yeah. that too? Yeah, yeah. I prefer a walk in the park Same. Than, than a dinner for the first date. Definitely. I think it's more casual and laid back, and you can actually get to know the person. Listen, as long as you're waking up every morning and going to work, that's the kind of man I need. As y'all heard from these two women right here, they said that they'll do the same thing. They'd rather go for a walk and get to know the real you versus going to a dinner and spending money, sitting behind the counter and getting drinks and all this and that. Typically, that's the, the date that most people go for. But like I'm saying, man, like if y'all really like these women, you want to get to know, know the real her, you need to spend a little bit less money. I'm not trying to say, you know, be extra cheap and stuff like that, but get out there and do things that y'all can, you know, get close and bond on and spend a little bit of quality time so you can see her from a different perspective. Because if you have her with the alcohol and her system, you're going to get, you know, a happier version of her, which is not ultimately going to be the real version of her. You know what they call it, beer goggles. And the more they're wearing on beer goggles, everything looks good. And as soon as they sober up, it goes back to what it was. How much does a wedding ring have to cost? Baby, it could be $50. It really doesn't matter. I just want to be in love. I want to be genuine. I want a happy, healthy marriage. So the ring, I mean, what the cost of the ring, it really doesn't mean anything because it's not like I'm going to go sell it. But the ring is just a symbol of my commitment to my man. So however much he can really afford, whatever he feels like he wants to give me, I think that's better than... Listen, these hoes have three kids with no marriage, so I'd rather the ring and my man than the cost of it. That don't matter to me. So, like, he could give you a ring pop and you would... Baby, take me to the courthouse with that ring pop. Thank you. Hello? Long story short, this man was asking her, if you didn't have the money, would you still marry me? And she said, if it was a ring pop and she feeling you... She don't care, man. We'll go down to the courthouse and get the document signed. And that's a cool thing to hear. But we know ultimately you're not about to sit there and, you know, give a woman a ring pop and propose and all that. But, you know, what you would really want to do is have that type of woman that's down for you during your good times and your bad times. And she sounds like she really looks for that type of dude. So let me read y'all some of the comments that the people left on this video. This person said, if the intentions was pure, I'd take a ring pop anyways. You can't eat diamonds unless you're a dragon or something. <laughs> 
the next person said my man could propose with an onion ring and I still say yes. Hey, what they say is different strokes for different folks. This man said finally someone with some sense and good reasoning. Exactly. It's hard to find decent women out here that's not trying to use you. This person said why is she bringing up single moms? That screams insecurity. You don't have to bring other women down in order to bring yourself up. Look, when I hear this, I'm I, I hear them with, with their arms folded, like they bitter and jealous because she mentioned single mom. Long story short, the girl was trying to say that you got women out here with three kids and they ain't got no ring, but she'd rather have a ring than have three kids, you know? She ain't said nothing wrong, but this person wanna be bitter, man. The last person said, I kinda see what she's saying, but she's still setting herself up for some possible dusties because a man that truly has good character, loves you, wants a healthy future with you, and respects you isn't gonna propose with a ring pop. These are low standards and having standards doesn't mean you are superficial. It's making sure you weed out a man that truly cares and is responsible and is able versus a man that's gonna do the bare minimum and demonize women who want a provider and will upkeep them and make sure that she is comfortable. That's why the comments are full of pick me and dusty incels, praising her because she'll accept a candy for a symbol of lifetime commitment. The same man saying, see, this is what a real woman should be. Not those gold diggers are the same men that I get in women comments telling them to choose better and that they have no value because they have a child or the baby daddy abandoned the kids and abused her. What in the world are you talking about? Like, this sounds like this person is trying to put value on the ring. Like, what if the man can't afford it right now? But this person's trying to say that if you are the type of dude that likes women that's genuine and sees you for a, a good band and everything, but you can't afford her, you a problem. Like, no, that don't make you no incel, no weak man. That makes you a wise man. Women like her, you would try to avoid anyways because this woman already said that, that the cost of the ring up front is important. So with that being said, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. This your boy Cole Labs, and I'm out.